Hey, my name is David Darnell, and uh, about a year ago, I guess it was exactly one year ago today, I got out of my truck about two or 300 yards north of here, and it was cold. If you were here, you remember that, right? It was really cold. It's almost warm today. I got out, and the gentleman got out in the truck behind me, and uh, he was a little bit my senior, and he said, I said to him, I said, it's cold. He looked at me, and he said, it was cold at Valley Forge, too. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah you're right. That was, that was all the complaining I did for the day. Hey, uh, I am uh, I am but a construction worker, like many people in Oregon. Uh, you know, I build things. And about five years ago, I looked around, and uh, you know, I was sitting comfortably in the easy chair of ignorance. I thought everything was fine. I voted. I worked. Raised a family. Went to church. Played with my cars, my guitars, and my guns. And I looked around about five years ago, and I realized, you know what? Things are not exactly the way I thought they were. And so I showed up and held a sign and had a, people were holding tea bags and stuff and I came down here and people were speaking, I was holding a sign and I showed up a meeting and, and somebody said to me, they said, go become a precinct committee person. They call it PCP and I thought, well, I remember what PCP was. I was <laughs> not that I, you know, I did. Uh, I became elected delegate. I became uh, just recently elected chairman of a local party here. And, and I'm not going to give you a partisan speech here. But what I'm going to tell you is that politics is partisan. Gun control is partisan. There's about 30 people over there on that side of the building that want to take away your guns. They'll start with registration, and you know where it goes from there. There are about 15 people over here they want to take away your guns, okay? 30 people over there, half of them want them. 60 people over here, half of them want them. And so what I would say to you and to myself and to everybody else is, number one, in the state of Oregon and also in the, in the country, in the United States of America, most people do not agree with gun control. Most people agree that we have a Second Amendment constitutionally protected right to keep and bear arms. Most people believe that. Here's the problem. These 30 people keep getting elected. Most people believe in the Second Amendment. These 30 people keep getting elected. These 15 people keep getting elected. I was down here almost every week during the gun control blitz of last year. I'm walking by all the offices, emails are coming in by the thousands, phone calls coming in by the thousands, thanks to you, we stopped that. But if you don't want to keep coming back here every year, there's a few things we need to do. The first thing we need to do is stop voting for these people. Stop voting for those people. Now I would love to stand here and say, run over to our booth and become part of my party, okay? I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is number one, get registered to vote. Make sure everybody in your house is registered to vote. Make sure your neighbors, coworkers, brother, sister, everybody registered to vote. Number two, when these names come up on your ballot in November, don't vote for them. Just say no. I don't care if they're your party that you've always been and your parents have been, and I used to be of that party, by the way. Just don't vote for them. If you can't vote for the other guy, just leave it blank. Just don't vote for the folks. Because they will come back with HB 32 again as soon as they have enough votes in the, in the House, as soon as they have enough votes in the Senate, and they'll do it again. Okay? Most people agree with our Second Amendment rights, but they keep getting elected. Okay? It's up to us to stop that and stop that now. Thank you very much for speaking. I'm going to introduce to you Marin County's uh, own Mark Callahan running for the U.S. Senate.